honey. Don't you think um, Mrs. Frederick is being so hard on her husband? Babe, if you ask me, I'll do suggest we mind our own business and watch out the whole thing play. Um, I'm sorry, honey. Just that uh, I'm, I'm only bothered. Well, it's okay. It's okay to be bothered. Um, um, how about my kids? How have you gone about the school transfer? Um, if you don't I... kill me, I will kill you tonight. Who's wrong with Stephanie, you? what is all this nonsense? I suggest you go see what's happening before they kill themselves. You are right. What is it again? The nonsense is, tomorrow is my birthday. And you are going to give me a birthday card. And not only that, we will change our daughter, Clara, from our old school to an IQ school. I, I don't get you. Which one is IQ school again? <laughs> I guess you both are rehearsing for your church drama. We heard IQ school. Is it part of the presentation we are having in church on Sunday? Yes, I mean, no. We are just discussing um, a serious issue. And you both have been shouting on top of your voices, disturbing the neighborhood. Gosh, I don't get you. Don't I have right to discuss with my husband? In my own house? I guess you should do that. Maybe? Let's go. You see what it was? Oh my god. <laughs> no, my sister. Oh my god. Oh my god. She seriously wants her husband to change their daughter's at school. Just because I told her about us earlier today. Oh no, that's bad. That's really bad. But honey, oh um, wait, wait, wait a minute. Which one is IQ school again? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Good morning, Mr. Frederick. Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. William. Good morning, Mr. Frederick. Sure you had a wonderful night rest? Of course, I did. Oh! Today is my birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Stephanie. Thank you. Happy birthday, Stephanie. Thank you. Yes, um, happy birthday to my beautiful and uh, lovely wife. <laughs> Thank you, darling. I'll see you when I come back from work. Thank you, darling. Don't forget my birthday gift when coming back. I love you. And um, babe, don't you think we should get her something? Really? Yeah. Did they send you any when you had yours? Oh, come on, babe. We are not them. Fine. So what do you intend getting the better lady? Um, don't worry about that. Hello? How did you go? It did exactly as we discussed, right? Alright, I'll call Chief PA. Yes, I'll send him to his office and finalize what we discussed last week. Let's see how it goes this time. See you later.
So, I'm not a cow now. You don't look happy. Today is supposed to be your birthday. You don't need to be sad. Not today of all days. Don't you think we changed Clara from her school to a better school of IQ? Please, please. Okay? Let's discuss this some other time. No, no, no. You, you said today is supposed to be my birthday. And... I'm supposed to have a lot of birthday gifts. One of them is changing Clara to a better school of IQ. Fine. Clara's school is going to be changed. That will make you happy. But if you do not disgrace me outside with this your IQ of a thing, there is no English. That's my husband. Now you are acting like one. And one more thing. I like that you my uh, Stella is wearing and the phone. I need it. Are you out of your mind? You're sick. What is wrong? Can't I call you again at night while sleeping? Not when the husband is worse than an infidel and can't provide for his wife. Babe, why are you so hard on me like this? You're talking to me so hard. I need the kind of humor hair and expensive phone Stella is using. Period. Fine. Fine. I'll try. Babe. I said I'll get it.
Why are you acting as if the war has ended? Don't ask me that question again. I mean, not the cause of my predicament. Predicament? Me? How? You're still asking me. Was it not because of your greed that made me borrow money from different places? Now they need their money as soon as possible. I, 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 I can't even figure out how to raise their money and pay them back. But you're working now. You can deduct it from your salary. No, I see. You don't even have pay. How much is my salary? How much is my salary that I have to pay 7.5 million before the end of this month? We can do something about it. Maybe sell some of our... Uh... Go on. No, go on and complete your statement. Our what? What do we have? We don't have anything. We don't have any property. Even your shop that we were managing out of pride. You, you sold it. You lost that shop. We don't even have anything to hold on to now. See, I, 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 I blame myself. I blame myself for letting you get me into this mess. We can do something. We can pay the money together. You shut that thing you call mouth. Mr. Williams. Okay. It's me, Mr. Frederick. Oh, good morning, Mr. Frederick. Good morning. Please, can I see your husband? My husband? Yes. Hope no problem. No, 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 no. no. I, I just want to discuss okay. it. Um, yes, baby. Who is there? It's Mr. Oh. Frederick. Oh, good morning, Mr. Frederick. Good morning. Please, can I see you in private? Open this one. No, there's no problem. I just want to um, discuss something with you now tonight. You want to sell my car? Are you out of your mind? You are not selling this car. Madam, I am Kenneth, and here is my colleague. We are from the state CID. We are here looking for Mr. Frederick. I am Mr. Frederick. I hope there's no problem. Uh, please, you have to come with us to the office for questioning. Questioning? Yes. About what? Yes, the office. 
No, 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 please, please. What did my husband do? He, he can't take my husband, though. Sir, please, madam. Sir, please. Obvious, he doesn't have money to pay back. This is the fifth day he's in there in that cell, and his wife is doing nothing about it. I seriously feel pity for him. No, oh, babe, I want you to understand something. That man is a good man, it's just the wife that is pushing him. How do you intend clearing your husband's debt? I don't know. I don't know. This is actually what they call penny wife. Found foolish. If you had sold your car when your husband asked you to, all this wouldn't have been happening. Going to the police station to pay my husband. And why was she? I see. That's not a problem. Thank you. And don't worry. We will pay you back as soon as possible. There's this money we are expecting. Oh, what? shut up! Do you even have a dime? Or you think I don't know how you can push in your husband? Just because you see me as a rival. What nonsense are you talking about? I just said we will pay you back the money. Stephanie! What is wrong with you? Why can't you stop this life? Where are you going to get the money to pay that back? Is that how to show your gratitude? For your information, I told Mr. Williams everything at the station. Yes! And let me tell you, he paid back all the debt that I incurred because of you. And in case you may know, he is the landlord of this house that we are living in. And he is the CEO of the company where I was hired. Don't I have right to discuss with my husband in my own house? You don't mind me. Oh, don't worry, sir. Our company car will pick us outside the gate. Oh, uh, you know, we actually had our own personal cars. We use it to sow seeds to the members in our church. I need the kind of human hair and expensive phone Stella is using. Period. I hope you don't mind me giving you a lift to your place of work. Eh, no need, no need. I'm actually waiting for the company's car to come and pick me up. From today onwards, I am a managing director, not a market woman. Am I understood? Yes! Those people may be our destiny helpers for crying out loud. Does it look like I care? I don't care. Those people can never be our helper. Never! Are you surprised? Of course, you ought to be. You never wonder why your husband always tells you the CEO was never around. Empty drums, the same, make the loudest noise. The Nora you called your friend, where is she? She left you when you needed her the most. Learn how to cut your clothes according to your size. Thank you so much, honey. Thanks for doing this for my sake. And I would appreciate if you would call him back today. 
is just only if it's ready to man up. Honey, let's leave this conversation for later. So that Mr. Frederick can go inside and eat. Please. Definitely, man. Guess what? I made it to the right. Hey, you better come in and join us. Else, I'll ask my uncle to throw your things out. 